this is the sql server uh, module regarding the sql server security and um, in this uh, module we are discussing how to implement the security and encryption in the sql server in the last video we have discussed about the uh, browser service we discussed how the clients are connecting to the instances installed on a machine using the browser service so we came to know the about the browser service in the last uh, video and in this video we will discuss about the most important security concerns uh, regarding the browser service and regarding the uh, dynamic ports so we know that the browser service advertises the all the instances installed on the machine so this browser service uh, giving the information related to the uh, instances and uh, anyone on the network can find out this browser service information so we have to uh, hide this information one way is to stop the browser service if we will stop the browser service then the client will uh, which client want to connect with the dynamic uh, named instances which are using the dynamic ports then the client will not be able to connect so we need the, so we need the browser service so the other way to don't uh, populate the information don't show the inf uh, information related to the instances is to hide the instances so we will see first how uh, one can check on the internet regarding the uh, instances name using the browser service so for the for that uh, i will use the powershell this is the uh, powershell So this is the Windows PowerShell. Here first, uh, I will use the command get service SQL browser, and it will sh show me that the browser service is running or not. So I have written this command, and I will just press the Enter key, and this it's showing me that a browser service is running on this machine. So now, if I want to get the all the instances name. Uh, on this machine, I will use this command on this PowerShell system.data.sql that SQL data source numerator instances dot get data sources. When I will run this command, it will advertise all the instances installed on this machine. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six instances on this machine, and it's uh, the uh, instance name is coming and the uh, uh, clustering information and the versions information is coming so this information I don't want to advertise I want I don't want to, that anyone on the network can see the this information so I can use the SQL server configuration manager to hide this information so I will use this SQL server configuration manager here I have the uh, all the this uh, uh, installed instances and uh, this is the network configuration so then instance which i want to hide suppose i i will hide this sql server 2017 so i will go into the this protocol properties here is the uh, option to hide the instance so i will hide it after that i have to uh, restart the service of uh, this ser server so SQL server service, I'm going to restart so that the changes should take effect. And after that, I will check again the, that the browser service still advertising or not. So this service is restarting. It's taking some time. So service is restarted. I will choose the PowerShell again to check the information. So I will run the same command again before this these are the instances uh, are coming now I'll let see now we can see that the one instance is not coming this SQL server 2017 because we uh, set the properties to hide in using the SQL server configuration manager so now it's not advertising but clients still can connect with that instance only it's not advertising the information on the network so in this way we can hide the instances uh, from the uh, clients 
it will not advertise the information on the network so this is the regarding the security concern and the, the other concern is the because we know that the sql server is uh, default uh, using the port 1433 we have to change these default ports because anyone knows that the, these are the default port and he can scan on the network and can misuse of the ports so we have to change the default port using the sql server configuration manager so this is the sql server configuration manager and here all the instances are there and uh, these are the network configuration suppose this is my uh, server sql server 2017 i can go into the protocol and this is a tcp ip protocol it's using the default port uh, 1433 if it's a um, default instance so i can if i want to change the default port but right now it's using the dynamic port uh, i can remove this one and here i can enter the port number user defined port number so now when the one client need to connect for in the connection string we have to write this port number so this is the fixed port number and we are, by using this uh, these options ip addresses ip all here we can fix the port and this is another point for regarding the sql server security concern we should not have to use the default port